Hello everyone, this is Mandy speaking. Welcome to Blushing Mandy and today what we're gonna do is a little tutorial on Nukazon. How you can buy stuff, sell stuff, um, search for stuff. So if you see the top, right here we have the logo which is uh, a way to come back to the main area of the website. Right here we have the search bar which has uh, the item search, the user search, or the discord search. Right here you're gonna have your username for your account because you I suggest you create an account for Nukazon. Your bell for notifications, this little bubble of messaging for messages, your shopping cart, and here's like a settings for your account. Under it we have this right here which is all the things you can buy from Nukazon. For example you get art, all the paintings that you'd like, genuine or fake, bushes, clothing, a lot of stuff basically. And everything is organized, I think alphabetically. If you go back to Nukazon, we have this banner right here, which is something that I recommend everyone to do is just go first to the giveaways to see what is on there. So right now they have the fall throwback giveaway. And I've already entered, but I suggest you guys entering. All the prizes are really, really good. And they do, like, do a lot of them. As you guys can see, there's a lot of giveaways that they've done so far. Going back to the main page, we have the hot items of today. These are the items that are selling the most today. The latest listings are the items that are, have just appeared for selling. And you guys can also buy through here. The auctions, which is my favorite part. The auctions ending soon, which we'll go inside in a second. New items that the game has entered. If you don't have any of the items, you can buy them. The free items, which is my favorite, favorite part. Over here, you can see a lot of free things that people are selling. And you just... You just get it for free. As you guys can see, one payoff mortgage for free. This one is awesome. Somebody uh, called Beck Manzana is paying someone's mortgage for free, which is awesome. And there's just a lot of stuff that you guys can see over here. Let's go back. Then we have pe what people are looking for. So you can do villagers, other items. Uh, these are items for me because I do have some items that I that I want and yeah these are like some items that I'm looking for and it just offers me some stuff and then you can browse categories and some other stuff uh, you can do okay let's go to the user profile where you can see um, you can pick anything for your for your photo um, you guys can search any icon let's say um, let's say table and there's a lot of things that you can put a lot of images i have picked this this one right here hypno kk then you can see your username and you can put if you're online busy or offline your island name the name of the character that's going to go to the island to sell or buy what time zone you are in and your languages you can also add your friend code if you want dream code creator code and your discord username but i didn't put that i put read bio please because i do do a lot of trading so i want them to know this right here and right here you can put a little presentation of yourself what you're selling or how you're selling i prefer to put for example i put hello i prefer wishlist items and if there's not that's not available i prefer nook mile tickets and if that's not available i prefer bells the last thing and i put a heads up that when i'm online there might be a lot of traffic this means that i have a lot of people going in and out of my town and that's because i when i start trading i trade with a lot of people and then i only accept three offers at a time i do not accept more so thank you for your patience this means we'll go right now to offers i only accept three people and i give three people the the dodo code and you guys can do this too if you like but i give only three people the dodo code and once one of those people leaves i give the next person in the line the dodo code but i do accept their offer and then online probably training and probably with traffic busy might take a little to respond but i'm available and offline i'm not on nukazon and i will not respond quickly 
here we have my listings these are the things that I am selling currently in my account and a little bit I'll show you how to put the listings up how to sell them and how to promote them basically these are all things I'm selling and basically right here what it says relist it means that the thing has gone too far down in the Nukazon interface so you can relist it so it appears at the top again we have the auctions if you guys want if you guys have a very popular villager this is what I recommend putting it for auction because in the auction area what you could do is put a set price for example selling Rosie for 50,000 bells and somebody will be able to go to the auction and be like oh I offer 70 uh, 70,000 and the next one will be like oh I I'll offer a hundred thousand Re like real life auction then the offers this is what people have offered for some items that I'm selling and as you guys can see I have an offer for 50 Nook Mile tickets that's crazy for a straw hat and the good thing about Nookazon is that you guys can sell things and people if they really want it they'll put really high prices on it and you guys can literally become millionaires in Nukazon. And you guys over here can uh, decide to message the person, to accept it or deny it, whatever you prefer. Then we have the wish list, and you can create a wish list uh, with the name, for example, Fish. Whenever you put something in the wish list, you can add it to that wish list so that people know where to find it. So I'm gonna delete that wish list because I don't need I don't need any fish. I mean you can't really trade fish. Then you have the catalog area, which I really don't use. Um, I have put some stuff that I have in the catalog, and I think it automatically gives you like it automatically puts it when you buy, but I'm not really sure. And the reviews. This is the most important part of Nukazon. Your reviews. If you have bad reviews because maybe you offered something and you didn't give the full price uh, to the person or um, you were just rude, you stole something from a town, that's very bad. You always want to have a five star review and you always want to be uh, very kind to people so that you get a very very good review at the end of your trade. Okay, now let's go to buying something. Let's for example go to DIY recipes and you guys can see this is how it looks and you can there's a lot of things over here on the left side that you can choose from for example living room items you get, oh i really like let's see something that i don't have or oh, let's pick log hmm something that i might like also child's room Let's see, I really like this apple rug, right? And it's also DIY available. So if you click on here, that means that you have it on your catalog. I unclick it. If you click this one, it means that you can add it to a wish list. And I could put it on my rugs part, rugs wish list. And it'll appear right here that it's been successfully added. And if we click right here, it means that you would like to get, for example, for your wish list, you click on there. And you click on DIY recipes, which I already have created an area for it. Boom, added successfully to DIY recipes. If you click on the item, this will, will appear. It will appear what the item has been selling for, um, what type of item it is, the average price that people buy it for, and how much it sells in the Nook's crannies. You can get it from crafting, and these are the materials that you need. So, if you don't click anything from here, for example, if there was another color, I could click the other color, or right now I could click the DIY ticket. If I click the DIY ticket, in the listing area, only the DIYs that are selling will be um, here. But if I click not on the DIY, like the rug and the DIY for the rug will appear. Let's go ahead and give an offer. So this person is uh, the latest selling. And they're selling the DIY for five fish bait. So we're gonna click on it. And right here, you can see the username. 
you can see how many reviews, which this person has 460 reviews, that's crazy. And they're saying that if they're green, they're, they're online and ready for trades. If they're yellow, currently in the middle of some trades. And if they're red, they're not accepting offers. Okay, so let's make an offer. And so this player has decided to ask for five fish bait. So you can do four listing price if you want to do that. Or if there's another offer and you want to give them a bigger offer so you get the item, you can put bells, nook mile tickets, or wish list items that they want. Right now I'm going to cancel. Well, actually, I'm going to show you guys how it looks if you put it for the listing price. There we go. And now you guys can see five, five fish bait, my username, my languages, and like everything about me. If I want to cancel it, I could just go here, cancel, and it's going to ask you for a reason. And there's a lot of reasons right here, uh, but I'm just going to say I sent it an error. Submit, and there it is. Nothing is there. Let's go, for example, to materials. This one is also one of my favorite parts. I have a bunch of materials that I want because I'm always crafting, so I always put like, I want woods, right? I have another area for materials. It's going to say right here, you already added it to the wish list. Okay. Let's say that I want wood. And I'm going to buy, um, let's say, the 30 hardwood, which actually is pretty good. And they're only accepting bells, as you can see. Sometimes it'll be like accepting bells, accepting bells, or nook mile tickets, or even wish list items, which is right here. We're going to click on it, and we're actually going to try to buy this from this person make an offer we're gonna put let's say something let's say 180 because they're giving 30 we're just gonna be very very generous because we really want that hardwood and that's the good thing about nookazon that people that really want items will give very high offers to people and that's what i really like i mean if you can be generous be generous I, I usually am generous with the things I want to buy, but also people will offer big amounts of bells or nook mile tickets and other items. Um, they will be charging a lot of bells for it or nook mile tickets, like even for a refrigerator. I remember I bought my white refrigerator off of nook Nukazon and it was quite a lot of bells. Like I had to offer like a bells, nook mile tickets, and even some wishless items that they had. So it's kind of crazy. And that's the bad thing about Nukazon. There's a lot of people that trade only for very, very, very expensive prices. But we're gonna try to get this. We'll just wait, just click on the Nukazon part. And over here, you click on the cart, you can see, oh, shopping cart. What, what do you mean? Let's see. Oh, I got a notification. And the hardwood was accepted. And they're, they're requesting a dodo code. So what we're going to do now is open our airport and give them the dodo code so that they can come to my island and trade for the 30 uh, hardwood. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're back to my island. And we're going to open the dodo airlines for them. Hello. We're gonna say I want visitors. We're gonna say online play because you do have to have Nintendo Plus for this. And you wanna invite via Dodo code. And you're gonna say the more the merrier. And they're gonna be like, are you sure? Because people, you know, like you don't know these people, they can do bad stuff to your island. And you're like, are you good with that? And you're gonna be like, yeah, invite anyone. That's why I have a special place for people from Nukazon because I don't like them running into my island. Okay. Oh, I missed the Dodo code. So if you missed the Dodo code, go up to Orville again. And you're gonna say, I forgot the Dodo code. And we just have to hang on to that code. Okay, let's uh, close off. I did a really ugly shirt. I should have just done a sign, but I did a shirt very quickly. Display here. And with this, they won't be able to cross. 
but they'll know that they have to come over here. Okay, and then I go behind this area. And I'm gonna grab a present really quick. And I am ready to trade. So now we come back to Nukazon. And then I already messaged them saying that it was going to take a little bit and they were like, no problem, take your time. And right here, we're going to put the dodo code for our island and we're going to send it. And now they have it right there. They've accepted it and now we're waiting for them. So all we have to do is wait in our island. Okay, now they are coming and once they come, we'll see the name of their island, na their name. And this is how it looks when somebody arrives to your island. It says that they're coming from Noon Noon. Oh no, their name is Noon Noon and they're writing from Nornia or Nur Nurnia. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And now we're going to do the trade. And what I recommend having for the trade is a um, app for your phone called Nintendo Switch Online which it lets you fast chat through Animal Crossing. So you know that you can chat through Animal Crossing like the in like the Switch, but this app allows you to use a keyboard on your phone uh, so, so that you can chat with them faster. And I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna say, hello, welcome. There you guys can see. And I didn't even use uh, my Nintendo Switch to write that. Put it really quick. Ah, no! Before they drop theirs. Let's see, 99 bells. Oh, they said something. Hi! Let's see, drop item. And we're gonna put a little present for them. Drop item. There we go. And this is the easiest for me to trade and for them not to run into my town and we're just gonna say thank you so much and usually people are very very nice so we're just gonna say have a good day and we're gonna say bye and once they leave we'll just uh, go grab the, the hardwood I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wood to make sure that it's the one I want. And we're just gonna check. 30. Let's go check on the Nukazan. Okay, now we come back to the Nukazan and we can see that yes, indeed, it was it was 30 hardwood. Let's just go back to here. Get, we got a message. Now we're gonna go up here. We're gonna say complete. And we're gonna complete and review. This is very important. You should always review at the same that they will review to you. So we're gonna write a review. Give a five star and we're gonna say something like very fast trade thank you so much have a wonderful day and stay safe and we're gonna submit the review and now it says that they have a review right here from us and it was a verified sell for hardwood and that's basically how you do any trade in Nukazon also for the auctions let's see for example this person is selling 30 you guys can see 30 nook mile tickets 700,000 bells as you guys can see people have just been slowly 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 offering for the nook mile tickets and if you are going to sell through auction you have to be very careful because if you do not respond in two days you will get a penalty in your account so if you sell through auctions be very very well, you just have to make sure that you give the item to the person or you give the what you offered to the other person, you know? You just have to be uh, conscious about what you're selling or what you're buying. And that's basically all. Oh, actually, I want to show you guys the services. Let's say that you're a new player and you have a Nintendo Plus and you want to gain some bells and because you don't have a lot of bells and you want to gain some. So you can do all these things right here. You can either put that you want to do an island tour. If you want to build an island, you could do an island tour, an island inspiration, mystery uh, bag, grab bag, sorry. And if you go to pay off bridges and inclines, if you have a bridge or an incline, 
a lot of people will pay off bridges and inclines i see right here people sometimes they say for free i know i've done it for free other times so look only for three nook mile tickets somebody pays off your incline isn't that great i think it is also people will pay off a mortgage right here if you're from the northern or the southern hemisphere you can put your island up for other people to come and get bugs or fishes and if you have shooting stars also and actually let's put something for sell so we're gonna go to separate services and we're gonna say water flowers and then so over here we're gonna add a listing oh somebody oh and they give us a five star review let's see what they said they said super nice and fast trade uh give me an extra gift too thank you oh they're so nice i'm gonna go, go we're gonna go back we're going to add a listing amount right here doesn't really matter if you have one couch and you're selling one couch of course you can put one or ten or a hundred uh, we're just gonna say one for water flowers and we could put this as a standing listing a standing listing means that once somebody offers for it and you accept the offer still stays there and more people can buy it we can do for us for offers or accept only listing price and if you put accept only listing price and we don't say anything right here it will say free and if you put ask for offers we can put what do we want to be offered so let's do this let's ask for offers and let's do actually let's do accept only listing price and we'll put 2000 bells right now for 2000 bells people can buy our service oh but actually remember when you're selling things put yourself on online so we're going to go back to water flowers we're going to click again and right here it says water flowers mandy 2000 bells and if you don't want to offer this anymore you can just go to your account and then go to the water flowers and put remove and that way they won't be able to make an offer and that's basically all for nukazan i hope you guys liked it if there's anything that you question of please put the question below i'd be very happy to respond to you and if you liked the video please like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.